on my last video called Crucible Camera there were two interesting comments made by viewers and the first one was this gating arrangement worked alright for cast iron but it probably won't work for aluminium it'll need a riser on it well what I'm going to do I'm going to pour this same gating arrangement in aluminium and we'll see if it fills up and the second interesting comment was do you need vents in a sand mould? Well I don't use any vents at all and all those moulds you saw on the last video I made had no vents so the same thing again I'll put no vents on this pattern and we'll see how it turns out this is the mould I'll be doing in aluminium the same way I've done it with cast iron and with no vents this is the pattern this is a sprue that I use with cast iron this is the drag part of the mould I've put no vents in there and we'll move on to the next part of the mould here is the second half of the mould cope and we've got the gating arrangement put on there and between the top part of the casting and the top part of the box there's only 15 millimeter gap and we'll see if that fills up with aluminium there's the top half of the mould done, the cope and there are no vents on the top part of the mould here are the two halves of the mould ready to be assembled and there is a very deep pocket where the air could collect and the logical place to put a vent but I'm not going to put one in there and we'll see how it goes there is some of the aluminium I'll be melting
Now we'll weigh the castings and compare the weights. This is cast iron at 720 grams. This aluminium one, 228, so it's roughly a third lighter. Here is a closer look at the results. As you can see, there's not much distance between there and there. Just because aluminium is lighter, it does not need these extended sprues or risers to fill up or feed the mould. What will change is when these castings become larger and thicker, you need to increase the diameter, not the height. Now, about the other query, was venting. I don't use venting at all in my moulds and that's the reason why. It's a total waste of time. Most people think that you've got to put something here or here and bleed the air out of that pocket. If your sand has enough porosity it does not need venting. And another thing people forget is if you want to stab a vent wire into a mould you have a distance say from there to there all that sand in between is not vented, so it's a total waste of time.